Hi there, I'm Dr. Tucker. I'm the lab coordinator for Bio 1510 Labs. Um, now, this is a bit of a different uh, semester this year. Um, so, usually you'll do different um, virtual labs or simulators and whatnot during class. Um, this week I just couldn't find any really good simulators for the carbohydrates experiment. So I came into our prep lab here and I'm going to go ahead and run through the experiment for you. Your lab instructor will explain things more clearly, but I'm just going to kind of walk through the process for you. So to start off, we're doing uh, carbohydrates this week. So we will be looking at a number of different reactions of these different carbohydrates, and I'll have these listed for you on Canvas. So we've got our control water, of course. We've got glucose, fructose, sucrose, maltose, lactose, galactose, starch, glycogen, and then two unknowns. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to run three different tests on each of those different carbohydrates, and you can see different properties for them. So I have three different racks with a test tube set up. I have a hot water bath working here on our um, hot plate. And I'm going to start off, I'm just going to put one milliliter of each of those carbohydrates into a test tube. Now I've labeled each of these 1 through 11. You can kind of see them there. So I'm just going to go through and put those carbohydrates into each of those test tubes. And I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I have all of those carbohydrates loaded into these racks here. Now we're just going to focus on one of these at a time. From here on out, our first test will be using Benedict's reagent. This is blue reagent. And this is testing for reducing sugars. So I'm just going to add to each one of these uh, two milliliters of Benedict's reagent. And then I will go ahead and put them in this boiling water bath and let them sit and let the uh, reaction take place. And then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so this has been in the hot water, boiling water bath really for three minutes. And you can see we've seen a lot of changes. There's one behind here, I'll pull it around the side. And I'll post photos of these on Canvas too so you don't have to get it off of the video. Uh, but we've seen lots of changes to a lot of different um, carbohydrates during that time. So I'll, like I said, I'll post photos of each of those on Canvas and you can use those to fill in your uh, tables and answer the questions in your lab manual. Next, I will take these same carbohydrates, then I will add two milliliters of Barfod's reagent. And that looks a lot like the Benedict's reagent, but it reacts differently. Um, and this is testing for monosaccharides. So again, I'll fill all these up with two milliliters of Barfod's reagent, put them in the boiling water bath again, and come back and show you those results. Okay, so I've got those uh, test tubes bubbling away. They take 10 minutes in the hot water bath. So while they're cooking away there, I'm going to go ahead and start the iodine experiment. So again, I've got those same 11 uh, carbohydrates. This time I'm just going to add one drop of this Lugol's iodine solution. One drop to each of them. I'll take some photos uh, before I heat them, and then I'm going to go ahead and heat them after those are done and take some photos after heating as well. And this is to test for starches, so those really complex carbohydrates. Okay, so I have added just a drop of that Lugol's iodine to each of these carbohydrates. I have not boiled them at all yet. And again, I will post these photos. You can see most of them just kind of turn this kind of pale yellow. Um, some of them have an immediate reaction. You can see number eight here, turn this dark bluish black. One of our unknowns, number 11, turn this kind of pale brownish. So then I will heat these for a few minutes. I will also show you the results from heating the Barfod's uh, reagent. And again, I'll take some photos, but you can see some of them have this reddish precipitate in the bottom. It's not the easiest thing to see in the photo, so I wanted to point it out here. You can kind of see 
Some of them have more than others. Number seven has quite a bit in the bottom. So those are after going through number 11. One of our unknowns has a little bit in the bottom also. So that's after going through the heating process. And again, I'll post photos of those. So I'll stick these with the Google's iodine in the hot water bath and show you those when they're done. Okay, so I just pulled all of these Lugol's iodine out of the hot water bath and you may notice they are all now perfectly clear. They look, they look like they have water in them at this point. So this one's a little different. The others we boiled them and saw a reaction. This one you know, saw the color change. This one we boiled them and we saw the color go away. So your lab instructor will discuss more about what that means and why that's important. Um, I will post the, the photos of those on Canvas so you can see them kind of more up close and not have to watch the video for them. Um, but that's it for this week. Thanks.